All right, we are going to try a basic question involving the calculation of the volume and the surface area of a sphere. Yeah, and we know by now that a sphere is, let's say, a football or an orange, yeah, a three-dimensional circle, if you like. And those formulas to calculate the volume and the surface area of a sphere, they will always be given to you. Okay, they are given to you in the question. And the question then will say, so the volume you can calculate uh, by doing 4 over 3 times pi times the radius to the power of 3. And the question then will also tell you, well, that the surface area is um, 4 times pi times the radius squared. And all you have to do is, uh, yeah, to be able to do is to use those formulas properly. Yeah? So this is a basic question. I'm going to continue in red over here. Um, you're going to find what is the radius, and yeah, that's the length of the line from the center to the outside, that is the circumference or the surface area now of the sphere, that's seven centimeters. So really, all you have to do is four over three times pi times seven to the power of three equals, okay, for the volume. Okay, four over three times pi times seven to the power of three. And I'm gonna write down the answer already correct to three significant figures. Okay, no, wait, I'll write down the answer. It's going to give me 1436.75 and a few more decimals, but to three significant figures, that is one, two, three, and the three either stays a three or goes to a four, and it goes to a four because that one is a six. But I'm going to put a zero there now. Yeah, correct to three significant figures, centimeters cubed. Okay, surface area. 4 times pi times the radius squared. Again, that formula they give to you in that question. Uh, 4 times pi times 49 equals, and that to three significant figures, I'm gonna round it straight away, is 600, and uh, I should do it properly then, 16 centimeters squared, okay? Now, I hear you thinking, but hang on a minute, that, that is really easy. They're gonna give me that formula, and all I have to do is to plug in the radius. Well, that's true. However, on many occasions, these questions are asked slightly differently yeah, in a reverse order. So have a look at the next example questions to, to have a look at those kinds of examples. See you then.